and welcome back to Paddling Pool 209. This is now semi-finals and we are seeing a return in carbon domination. We have seen them absolutely tear apart another team with huge domination, but now we are in semi-finals and they are facing Noah Prime 52. Noah Prime 52, they got this far, they should be able to hold their own against Carbon Domination. And Daddy, we are now in best of five. That is correct, and also, counterpicks are still in play. In fact, they're going to be in play for the rest of the tournament. Starting things off, we got Splat Zones on How the Fish Market, aka Eater Leader Territory. <laughs> aka Crab Tank Territory. That too. <laughs> Except we headshot those. I, we, I gotta headshot them. Clicking heads with hit with the closest thing you'll ever get to hit scan in this game. Yeah, um, so far we, we've seen a lot of classic and this one is going to be, is already a classic of Splatoon 3, a beloved map by so many competitors and for good reason. You have flank routes on it, you have so much you can do. It's a good map. It's just a good map and we're happy to see it. Yep. It's a pretty fun map for me too, because like I said, I generally I play E-Leader and Tri-Stringer, so this is a map where I can thrive on the general neutrality of it. Try to push. Nope. Well, let's start things off. We're not seeing too much of a comp change for... Actually, I think we are. I don't recall yeah. ever seeing splashes on the side of of Carbon Dom. Looks like they just decided to play a lot more meta alongside their off meta pick of Carbon. And Noah Prime going with like a very no crap tank comp as well. No crap tank present. Quite happy. At least okay. I think. I don't think it's the first time we see double Neo Splash in this tournament. That's really like Splash continues, just different Splash now. And Noah Prime with a Quick lead. They take good control of the zone and right now they are on the attack with pushing carbon donation to try to turn and right now they have two specials ready. They should be able to turn and they have to just 30 points left on the block. Yeah, the thing about this map is that a good block can be pretty difficult to get out of. It looks like uh, Carbon Dom's doing their best to try and make something happen. Although, unfortunately, they're falling down players at the wrong time. A good pick right there, but just a little bit of movement. But I don't think that's going to be enough. Even with these triple link strikes, are they going to get neutrality on the zone? Oh, they barely get it. They just got it. Recap and Oh, one. Whoa, that was last minute push by Carbon Dom, and Carbon Dom manages to finally take the zone for themselves. And not just apply penalty, move forward, push Noah Prime to be on the defensive that time. And let's see if Carbondon is able to, 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 to reproduce what, uh, what was done to them just earlier. Well, it seems like they're doing a decent job, although they're kind of even in players right now. Falling back to paint the zone is fine. Crab Tank being top. You already know what I have to say about this. This is 8 <laughs> seconds of torture. Albeit seconds. it seems like it was kind of dealt with pretty decently. That pressure was placed on it, so we couldn't drive. Two picks down. Looks like the zone needs Whoa. to be to make that three. Oh my god, Carbon Dom really does not want to get does not want to get dominated. I think they want it. They want the win. Yeah, they're on their way to get it. If they can deny that last push by Noah Prime right now, that could be quite the fast comeback. No. It could be, but right now it's just a big, big warfare for zone control. And Noah Prime is able to barely, barely catch that out. I think a good pick off that chainsaw was all it took. Chainsaw could have been a little bit more defense conservative because they were so close to lead. Well, talk about the back and forth game. These are tsunamis that are going back and forth for Noah Prime right now. They are ahead. Taking control and chipping away at that penalty. Yeah, like once they eat through that, that's kind of it for the game. So Carbon Dom, they need to really, they just need, they need to get that zone pain and like stack. Speaking of, they're at least able to neutralize it, but I don't think that's enough. 
they have to do a little bit, they have to work a little bit more for that. Look at that, Zipcast are out, and that, that's game for Noah Prime 52. Um, they just had to deny that last flank to get it. Both teams getting so close to a KO. Both teams showing us the, the fireworks, and that's what we want to see here in semi-finals. Mm -hmm. But on the bright side, Carbon Dom has a counter pick, and it's the best of five. So they're even if they lose this, they still got a really good shot for a reverse sweep. Yeah, for sure, this is far from over, and we've seen Carbon Dom. We know what they can do if they manage to put the aggressivity on. They once they have their momentum, once they have their good push, they can do so much. They almost got the KO on that game. And Noah Prime, they took it. They got two excellent pushes, excellent captures of the zone and lockouts. They know they can do it too. They know they are slightly ahead. They can do the job. And right now, Carbon Domination, they are meeting a team that's at, as aggressive as they are, as powerful as they are, and they need a good way to come back and that comeback will happen maybe on tower control on Inkblot Art Academy. Anything is possible. Plus this map is pretty good for ledge control and as I've commented commented before, Carbon Dom did a good job with ledge control. So who mm -hmm. say that this this map would really benefit them? Yes, between the carbon and the, the stamper you can apply so much pressure on the ledges and both teams readying up so fast they know what they want to play on this map because everybody knows what they want to play on this map here we go and Nora Prime back with the exact same comp or oh, I believe and no change on the side of carbon domination either both teams confident on what, on what they are doing and Already moving forward, and the fight probably is going to start right now. Yep, and right there, that's the first pick. 52 Gal getting off that. Yeah, that's Killer true. Killer by one, two picks as well early off. That's that's what I love about 52 Gal. You just simply hold forward and kill things. <laughs> yeah, but meanwhile, the rest of the team was getting picked up by the rest of Carbon Domination. So things are going to stay even, not to be a great push by the right drive as it could have been. And denying that 52 Gal is going to give a lot of room for, for Carpenter maybe to get to the show. The teams are still struggling and fighting on the tower directly. Yeah, that's Carbon Roller. Right to look cool, but unfortunately, it looks like Carbon Dom can get this delayed white jump being caught by that 52 gal, and Noah Prime's already in the prime state to start pushing. And good pick off that 52 gal, but right now, that tower kind of needs to be hard stop somehow. Triple inch strikes can make that a little bit more difficult, but a crab tank, oh boy, our favorite special is going to really put plenty of pressure in that flash. Stop the flat of the price strike, denying them the ability. And right now, it looks like Noah Prime is still pushing, getting past the checkpoint, maybe. Um, I don't think that Noah Prime is going to get past that checkpoint quite yep. yet. So it looks like they're getting pushed out. Huh. I guess, oh, I guess we want machine. But uh, Miko has to say otherwise, getting the trade. Although I would say that Carbon Dom is up players at this time, I don't think it's a good time for them to start pushing because right now they need to just focus on getting some form of control in mid before they can push again, you know, re recuperate and uh, work from there. Evening, day ground, I'm using the try strike and the crap time to really be able to take control. Of me take control of that tower, securing the first checkpoint. Maybe the track track doesn't stop it. Or Booyah Bomb, actually. There's a, quite a bit of hard stuff specials that um, 
that are available for Noah Prime too, because they they have a Booyah Bomb and two triple ink strikes. I already I already know the nightmare of triple ink strike spamming. <laughs> it can be annoying. But yeah, that nightmare is effective right now. Check when cousin is conceding. Now that always up in there, they're gonna get picked up and go at prime right now. See, this is true. They're in a position to do the power forward just... This Tampa is the last one alive. They're gonna get picked up too. That's a delayed wipe in favor of Noah Prime. Noah Prime is right up there with the 52 taking space, denying any defense on the side of Carbon Burn. And that trace track is going to keep the room to make that tower tick off. And that's the checkpoint for Noah Prime. They're gonna get wiped. But that's the checkpoint for them. And we just minutes and some left. Carbon Burn needs a lot to get back in this game. We have yet to see a great attack by them. They need it now. I will say that the best thing that uh, Carmadon has for them was likely going to be the fact that they have specials right now. But another thing is that Noah Prime doesn't really have any specials ready for them. So they're going to have to build it. But unfortunately, because they have two splashes and a Booyah, they have like three specials that are just easy stops to the tower. So whatever overtime push that uh, Carpet Dom is going to get, they need to make sure that they get them, they get those picks. Speaking of, one triple ink strike is down. I think there's another one over there. Yep, there's a Booyah Bomb right there. And a Crab Tank right there as well to help try to establish some form of control. Ooh, the triple ink strike's also being popped as well as expected. So have to just in desperation to try and hold this checkpoint. Once this checkpoint is out, Carbon Dom has a very very small window of opportunity to get, get it. They managed to get that lead off right, right there. But right now, the focus should just be to live, or at least get that Neo Splash to live. Unfortunately, they got picked off. So whatever happens, they they need to defend it with or without a tripling strike. One pick down, probably not the best idea right there. But oh boy, Noah Prime is just really putting it all up in their face. They don't want. They don't want to give Carbon Dom any breathing room because they know that they can get the speed with the right with the right play and it looks like a zipcaster on tower. The zipcaster instantly stopping the tower for Carbon Dom. We are now 1-1. Great game by both teams. Again, so so close, just a few points away from each other, and it's that last desperate push by Carbon Dom that got it for them. Congratulations to them, but now we have to go on to Noah Prime's counter pick. Not gonna lie, I kind of forgot about um about Zipcaster because Zipcaster doesn't come to mind as a hard stop. Hard stop to me yeah. is just as a special that forces you to get off tower. And the thing is, Zipcaster combines so well with that because if the Zipcaster is on the pillar at the, is stuck to the pillar, that counts as it being on the tower. So you can instantly be, in, be on the tower with a Zipcaster. So you just need to throw a few bombs and, and then Zipcast there. I see. I think I remember watching that in a Pro Tower video, actually. Yep. I saw that because it was a special combo. Zipcaster and Booyah or Triple Link Strike. You use the Booyah Bomb or Triple Link Strike for cover and your Zipcaster just stops the tower. Like that. But anyways, we gotta move on, and it's Noah Prime's... It's their counter pick, so I don't know what they're gonna pick. Uh -huh. I think they could go back into, like, uh, Rainmaker. No, how about Clam Blitz? We, lo we love Clam Blitz. Yeah, Clam Blitz is awesome, but... From what I see in the lobby, it looks like it might be spam zone. The stage is not selected yet. But... We are not sure, this is not confirmed, but given what Noah Prime has done so far, and both of these teams are pretty even. So if you get a map where the carbon is a bit is a bit weak, because given the team name, you can expect the carbon to be back there. If you if you expect <gasps> that, uh... oh yeah. Brian Water Springs on Splat Zones. 
Hey, it's a good zones map, and especially if you have lots of booyah booms and try strike, this is a great map for you. Yep, this is gonna be my funk. This is honestly, I would say that this is the E leader map I like. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't like Brian Water. I'm not a fan of it. The only thing I like is just dominating people on it. But that's kind of <laughs> that's not enough to make me like it. But this is this map. Once they get they had a there's gonna be quite a bit of a mid fight, and then after that, oh boy, I hope they don't get snowballed. The snowball is really, really a lot to make a difference in this map. I think both these teams are good enough to be able to prevent the snowball. Um, it's a good pick from Nova Prime because there aren't as many good carbon spots, I feel. The map is pretty open and you have a good chance to see the carbon coming. Well, I think we're also going to be seeing something unique from Nova Prime. Now there's a crack tank splash. Vanilla splash. And crap tanks can be here punchy time. Couple in trays pop on the side of carbon dominance attempt to get zone painted over. That they're able to get, but they're down their carbon trade. That is not good. Jupix added to that is just a cannon can destroyed in the middle of a zone and Noah Prime full control. Now it's time to paint for special and try to get the comeback before the enemy gets they booyah bomb at the ready to deny it. Charged by the machine. Ready to catch any drop of the enemy team. That can always happen. The player bomb is going to deny the push, I guess. Yeah, and it looks like a North Prime is doing definitely doing a decent job in retaining the zone. Ooh. Whoa! That's what we call the picks needed. The I love Zuka. the comical large wheel of fortune that is triple Trizuka. I, lo I lost my train of thought mid sentence. <laughs> 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 but I, I like referring to uh, Trizuka as a large comical gambling wheel because of how, how the shots work. It, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I, I, I don't like it. Yet it's so effective at killing you because I was expect it to not. But yeah, when it works, it works. It can instantly completely turn the dynamic of the game around and that's good love to see right now. Carbon domination. Almost back to Noah Prime, back in control of the zone, still painting. Not minding the fact that they want to get the zone, their color, but carbon domination pushing and getting it. Securing that side is just a 52 right now, trying to stay alive with the wall. That's going to be a jump out. Carbon domination. Way, way in a very good spot to take the lead back with that penalty being based on right now. Yeah, they definitely are in a good position to get full, get that lead, like you said. Right there, his zone's just flipped, and it seems like right now there's uh, quite a lot of spam going on right there. Tripling strike is just enough to deny a crab tank, which is which is pretty decent at getting control on this map. I'll be honest. For some reason, it can actually hit eagle eaters. Yeah, uh, you know, you know what? I, I'm not here to complain about what my my distaste was <laughs> towards towards crab tank. Right now, carbon domination. They had a penalty ooh. right then, but ooh, it looks like I. Yeah, don't speak too soon. Noah Prime back, mm, pedal to the metal on it, and already pushing, trying to push inside carbon domination. Man, trying to get the lock on this man. Tries to easily to apply that penalty. That's not gonna do it, but it's neutral right now. And no penalty anymore. Uh, yeah. No a prime in such a great spot right now. That could be the KO if it just delay things enough. Yeah, if things are definitely stuck for now. There's very little that I think they can do. Although this chainsaw is trying to make something happen, unfortunately, I don't think they had the support necessary. Just by triple ink strikes were oh. thrown onto that zone, and it looks like it's gonna the match is gonna be going on for a little bit longer. But unfortunately, Carbon Dom doesn't have enough members available to keep this push going. Hey! hey what are you doing here? Ah, oh, never mind. Uh, that's too sad. Um, it looks like I, I think that was a bit... I think that that was just a little bit uh, not the play of the game. Good shark, in all honesty, but 
mm -hmm. think that if they had gotten it, that would have been the play of the game. It's just enough to stop off and distract Carbon Dom to allow the other players to come back. But right now, unfortunately, Carbon Dom's kind of locked in. Although they were able to get the zone neutral, it's not going to matter since they can't paint it. Game I'm three. Bored. Game three going to Noah Prime 52. They are one game away from the finals. A common domination. They have shown that they can stand up to them and they want more. And they get to choose this next map, Daddy. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I want more too. Yeah. Yeah, both of these teams are, are showing us quite cheeky plays and awesome fights. That's what we love to see. Um, that ability to really s switch between fighting mode and painting the zone as much as you can. Both teams have shown that very well and the ability to take the zone, keep it, keep it as, as long as you can. And it's really a battle of skill on the highest level between these two excellent teams. So right now we're going to be waiting on Carbon Dom's counter pick, and in all honesty, I think they can just pick something where they can snowball in easily. But they also got to be careful because Noah Prime him has been doing a decent job. I'm not going to deny this, but 52 Gal holds forward for free in a lot of situations, and it can be unfun to deal with. Kind of makes me want. I kind of makes me wonder how the how 52 Gal even became. How oh, it took so long for 52 Gal to become meta, even after Kensa 52 Gal was available to play. Uh, I mean, I think that the problem is the special that has like very little impact compared to what a crab tank or a Zuka even can have. And right now, speaking of snowball, <laughs> we oh. are going to Rainmaker on Flounder Heights. That's a map where things can snowball very fast, so don't blink. Both teams could stay on, on mid, fighting for that top of the map for 4 minutes, and then in an instant things could be over. This is a map where both teams' aggressivity can, can go to their highest, and I expect to see a lot of good plays, but if we're not careful, this could be over very, 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 very fast. Yep. It could be overall in an instant, and I'm, uh, I'm gonna say this once. <laughs> Blinking patterns are kind of random, so if I blink at this moment, I'm just gonna be sad. <laughs> it's easy, just don't blink for five minutes. That's, that's, what, that's the kind of skill that you need as a commentator. Um... I, I think us gamers in general have that kind of skill because we can just stare at our screens while playing for so long. Uh, probably not the most healthy kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, I don't mind. I'm already used to it. My eyesight hasn't deteriorated yet, so there's that's good. Oh, hey! Tri Sloshers are now being brought out. Both Tri Slosher new bows. Our favorite soda weapon. Yeah, of course. The Trademark short... on Soda Slasher, ahead. <laughs> a short shooter counter, so good on this map. Um, especially for Rainmaker, that... Uh, that those, uh, those babies can do so much for your team. You can instantly turn your Rainmaker carrier into a speedy one. Yeah, turn him into a speedy one. I, I'd, say, I'd say speedy boy, but uh, we got to <laughs> we also gotta remember that sometimes being neutral is a, it's a good thing. And right now, Noah Prime with 4 vs 2 carbon domination on the defense, but Tri Strike is going to stop that Rainmaker. But right now, carbon domination needs to take back control of this lead. And Noah Prime is. like looks like they are in full control defending that top. Keeping your friend from really getting in, and that Bria bomb is gonna force them to move back. That should be another Rainmaker grab. And we just queue up 
that's a nice delay, but that could be checkpoints and big nope. Looks like the machine was able to halt that, and I applaud mm -hmm. that. Getting a, some decent picks to give an opportunity for Carbon Dom to get some form of control. This Carbon Roller frantically paint, smacking that Rainmaker for their life just to pop it <laughs> open. And at least get some paint control. Right now, things are definitely not looking at the best, I'd say, for Carbon Dom. Uh, oh! Actually? Actually? <laughs> <laughs> you know that looks... blink moment? Well, yeah. Well, look at look at that! Things are things actually went quite well for them. And looky here, carbon roller. Uh, okay, I think they were just trying to move, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give them the benefit of doubt and not think that they were BMing. But yeah. that was a great double right there. Just absolutely smacked. Great double, but carbon domination not getting not getting even close to the pedestal. <laughs> Right now, four versus two, that could be the way they get the lead, that could be the way they get the checkpoint. If they play their cards right and it looks like it's going to be yep, that's the right. Yep, that's That try strike is going to stop it, and it's unlikely that Carbon Domination is going to be able to go much farther than that. Yeah. Looks like Soda was the end of that one. Yeah, I wait. love Fizzy Bomb. Pardon? Wait! <laughs> Do um, not blink! They are going to twirl the cheeky play by the new splash for Carbon Dog. And right now, North Prime, they have two minutes left to get a checkpoint and then a lot of points. Carbon Domination showing how it's done on this map. Anything can happen. Just sneak by with flank routes, grab the Rainmaker and move forward. You are never safe on this map, and Carbon Domination reminds that to Noah Prime. Two down for Noah Prime, Carbon and Domination might be again in a, in a spot to move forward. Yeah. You know, I won't mention this, but... We kinda, you know how we talked about 52 Gal being able to hold forward in quite a lot of mm -hmm. situations? Speaking of, good pick right there. Yeah. Make that two, actually. Pick? That was a triple. I wanna... You mentioned that Killer Whale is not really useful, or doesn't really have a lot of impact in the game, but... I, I think one of, it can be a little underrated in its ability to locate people, or give you information that you might need. Just information in the immediate moment that you might need. Plus, it's a, it's effectively six lasers that are just pointing at you, so they can oh, get yeah. in some chip damage, and they can oh. displace slightly. For sure, it's not a bad special, it's just that there have been so much powerful special we've had in this game that uh, it's hard to stand out with just your main and your sub weapon, even if you're specially, like, your special being good but not the best, like, makes it, has made it so hard in this game to, to really shine. And it, it's always nice to see a 52 player really able to get the picks with it. And right now, with just 20 seconds left, Noah Prime, it looks like you are going to gain 5 because it's just the machine that's there right now and they need so much just to get back in. It's not really possible, I think. It may not, because right now all um, Carbon Dom has to do is just drag this Rainmaker away. It looks like they're going to wedge it into a corner and that's game right there. This is going to go on to game 5, people. And oh boy. It could be worthy of grand finale, but unfortunately, it is not. <laughs> yes, and Carbon Drum right now, they have a problem. They have yet to beat Noah Prime on their counter pick. And Noah Prime, they know what their team is made of. They know what their team likes to do now. They know them full well. And getting the map mode that no Prime is going to get the best out of. Looks like... Looks like No Prime, despite it being 2 versus 2, has a huge advantage. And that's... They haven't lost on a map that hasn't been picked directly by Carbon Domination. Yeah. Yeah, you, you never know when things can change, and I'm already seeing that Splat Zones Neon Zom the Alfonsino is on mm. the screen. 
My suspicions towards this map favors one weapon in particular. Honestly, yeah. I think that's a risky oh. move by Noah Prime because it's a very good map for the carbon. Actually, um, I, I think I might be a bit more split with you on that decision. I'd say it's more of a machine and stamper map than carbon. Because uh, uh, carbon, carbon can blowing. get some good ledge control on it, mm -hmm. and Trizuka can be fun for ledges as well. I think that um, just in general, machine and stamper tend to thrive a bit more on this map. Oh yeah, but... Because the ledges are higher. Mm -hmm. But we've seen Carbon Domination have the weapons that can help the Carbon do that uh, ledge camping and all of that. And I, I feel like if Carbon Domination plays their cards right, they could get a lot, of, a lot out of it. And the, the one weapon that stands apart for... Uh, for Noah Prime 52 is, well, the 52, and honestly, I'm not sure this is such a great map for, for the 52 guy. I'd say it could work out. This certainly can work out. Match point for both teams. Mm -hmm. Winner takes all and moves on to grand finale. We're not, looks like we're not seeing too much of a comp change, just in general. Try slashers are no more. Yes, against both these teams, they know what they want to do, they know how to do it. And they are already at it, painting the zone. Noah Prime is going to take the zone early. Getting those first points is always good. Crab is going to be denied a bit by the tri strike. That's going to delay it a bit. And Crab on the other side, too. And the tri strike, too. Both teams going at it. But right now, Noah Prime chewed down. And this is Carbon Domination's turn to really push it and get the points. Yep, they really said it's their turn on the Xbox, as I like to say. <laughs> or, in, or actually, in this case, let's just say it's their turn on the Nintendo Switch. They're already <laughs> playing it. And but it looks like uh, Noah right? Prime is just able to get the picks necessary to figure out a way to reach the lane. Try to get some, establish some form of control and push back Carbon Dom. Yeah, Carbon Domination didn't waste any time going onto Noah Prime's uh, platform, but Noah Prime was ready for it, ready to punish it as soon as they, they pushed a little bit too far. And right now, Carbon Domination has managed to... Well, they got penalty, but not so much of it, and they are about to get rid of it, and they are defending that zone again. So, well, the Tri Strike is gonna fall the crap down in that awkward spot. Points going down for Carbon Domination and North Prime 52. They need something right now to get back in this game because Carbon Domination is dominating it! Yeah, they're really doing it. They really don't want them to get in. This machine dropped and the paint that they're going to be applying to that zone with the Fizzy Bomb and their weapon is enough to actually maintain it. And we're seeing a machine duel right there, but unfortunately people are a person to help it, so that guy's got to go. Goodbye. Please jump. <laughs> jump! <laughs> well, no. Oh yeah, Bomb, they do not want to jump. Noah Prime 52 <laughs> has now control of the zone, keeping it. Looks like it should be free. Carbon Domination could manage a fly penalty, but Noah Prime is staying with it if they get that zone back. And they do! That zone back could be the beginning of them getting back the lead. They just need to deny, to delay, wait for that crap to be over and then keep control of the zone. Yeah, that is true. Yet so much pain is going to be thrown out because I'm seeing triple link strength and booyah. And look at that carbon dom hanging into the match by reapplying a penalty. Look at that carbon roller pushed up pretty far. Fortunately punished by a splash on the The Neo one in particular, actually. And both teams are even in terms of play. Actually, no longer are they at play. Yeah, they are. Looks like Noah Prime is gonna get recapped with the zone. And they're just gonna have, they're just gonna do, you know, some fun things like uh, kill that machine. Yeah, but they have a lot of penalty to get rid of before they can score points again. And right now, that that strike is doing so much for Noah Prime. It's just a machine. 
if they manage to keep that machine at bay and Booyabong is used for nothing, it's not on the zone. That's that's the push that not Prime needs, that's what oh the zone is neutralized. And the penalties apply for carbon domination. Carbon domination getting right back in. And the carbon getting the pick. Almost getting two. It's just the machine up inside of Noah Prime. They have yeah. to jump out. Yep, and right now, uh, Carbon Dom is going to really establish a lot of control right now. I'm pretty sure someone's going to be watching that left side flank. So Noah Prime is going to have to be pretty careful and weary about how they take about that. See, I always have to make sure I watch that flank too. When they're both <laughs> flying, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just saying what's on my mind. And it looks Got like them. this carbon roller sharking. Oh, Ooh. heck! Ooh! 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 That's a clip for the books. And that's gonna be it. It's just a splash. A splash is not enough. Carbon Domination gets it, gets to finals. Congratulations to them. That was quite a set, Daddy. Oh, yeah, that was quite the set. And you know what? I, I think you're right. Carbon is really good on this map. Yeah, I told you, Carbon. They were so aggressive all game long, and no prime. They were punishing the Carbon until that very last second where the Carbon, they missed the Carbon once and the Carbon got free of them, securing the KO for their team. Congratulations to Carbon Domination. We will see you very soon in finals. Mm -hmm. Right after the short break as well. Splatoon Stronghold, a stronghold for competitive Splatoon, providing resources to long-timers and newcomers alike. If you're new to the competitive scene or still figuring out how to join, we've been getting started guide and plenty of other resources to help you in your journey. If you are a seasoned veteran, we still have plenty to offer. You can find and join tournaments as well as participate in our captain forum and find free agents and teams. Our mission is to make competitive Splatoon easily accessible to everyone. So what are you waiting for? Join the Splatoon Stronghold today!